one month ago, Valve announced VACnet 3.0. So I found all the new changes. And during that time, I learned that there's a lot of details that people are hiding as the new anti-cheat is working better than before. That's why we will go over everything you need to know about VACnet 3.0. Before CS2 came out, there were hundreds of bans every day in CSGO. But once CS2 was officially released, the ban numbers fell, and we were lucky if there were more than 100 bans tracked every day. CSGO's anti-cheat wasn't very strong, but somehow CS2's was even worse. This continued for weeks, and when Valve would try to update the anti-cheat, it would cause more false bans to legit players than actual cheaters. To this day, you can still get false banned depending on your mouse settings. Cheating was becoming a huge issue in CS2 until April as Valve finally took action. Valve dropped a ban wave on cheats and bots, knocking them both out. While not as large as old CSGO ban waves, it was still noticeable for everyday players. Valve announced the return of Overwatch for trusted partners around this time, which was a sign they weren't done with the anti-cheat just yet. After the ban wave, the numbers fell back down but started to spike up again in August. At this time, it seemed like maybe a mini ban wave, but it never stopped. It wasn't until August 19th, Valve officially recognized the new anti-cheat by announcing VACnet 3.0. Unlike previous ban waves where things die down and go back to normal afterwards, ban numbers doubled in September. Since VACnet 3.0 started in a limited amount of matches, the growing number of bans shows it might be active in more games now. But how effective really is the new anti-cheat? Backnet 3.0 started giving bot farmers 24-hour cooldowns, making it so all bot providers had to find a solution. A good sign for the new VAC. Cheaters started to complain about the new anti-cheat, claiming they were using quote-unquote undetected features but were still getting instantly banned. A different set of cheats also had players complaining, saying that instead of just getting the irregular gameplay cooldown for 24 hours, they were now getting permanently banned, which must mean VACnet 3.0 was pretty confident if they were doing so. For the limited amount of matches which had the new VAC, they were getting cancelled and catching cheaters left and right. You can see these account alerts from September 3rd. One cheater claimed it took them 5 games to get banned, others were also getting hit, so whatever Valve was doing to VAC was definitely a huge improvement to every previous version that we've had so far for CS2. Cheaters now have a long list of features that are potentially getting detected. So when you look at the new ban numbers, now that it's been just under one month with VACnet 3.0, things are looking pretty strong with over 300 bans every day. We're able to look at performance tracking through Leadify, where you'll notice when comparing every rank in April, when cheating was at its peak, you wouldn't have been able to hit any top rank without having a near instant time to damage reaction time. You compare these same stats, but to August, now that there's VACnet 3.0, well, things look a lot more normal and human-like. So even if it may be hard to see in your game, it shows how the new VAC is overall an improvement. Now that we are hitting over 300 bans every day and consistently, the numbers are right around where they were before CS2 released with CSGO. If VACnet continues to go in more matches, the ban numbers will only grow. Now, of course, with the new VAC, that doesn't mean there is zero cheaters, as there will be those who want to test out the new VAC and see if they can get banned. This is why you might see cheaters pop up in your games, making you wonder if the new anti-cheat is even working. Some are even trying to go up the leaderboard. One cheater in particular was a big focus, as some noticed he wasn't legit, but Valve banned them in their weekly leaderboard cleanup. If you aren't new to the channel, you will know that you can find a new cheater at the top of the leaderboard every week simply because people know the dates Valve cleans it up and have accounts ready to go with wins to go on the leaderboard instantly. But of course, we can just ignore any of the actual improvements that have came with VACnet 3.0, seeing as it's easier to just say the new VAC sucks. It's definitely not perfect, in the sense cheaters will get instantly banned, but the new VAC is clearly better than before. Valve also dropped a big anti-cheat update for Team Fortress 2 a few months earlier, which many players thought would never happen. The fact Valve saved TF2 from bots gives hope that a strong anti-cheat solution for Counter-Strike may be around the corner. I know CS2 
these two players are not the biggest fans of deadlock but when you look at that game right now both has confirmed they are working on a strong solution behind the scenes and have even implemented their own mini overwatch system so with everything it's very clear valve is anti-cheat focused right now behind the scenes i'm not here to defend valve but i'm also not going to act like there have been no improvements and vacnet 3.0 isn't even working the fact valve was so confident they put vac 3.0 in their patch notes shows that they have strong expectations and players really just have to wait until it's in their games as remember right now it's only limited all signs are pointing up the band numbers are rising so subscribe to not miss what valve has next